tayari kuhusiana na sakate wa uagizaji wa mafuta ya upishi. Korea ametaja takriban kampuni tano za mafuta ikiwemo Bidco na Menengai alizodai kuwa zinafanya kazi na makateli pamoja na wanahabari kuhakikisha kuwa kampuni zinginezo azipati fursa ya kufanya biashara hiyo. Ebu natupata alichokisema. Problem with the edible oil industry is that 50 million, 55 million Kenyans depend on five companies. If five companies collude and they decide to poison, all of us are going to be in very deep trouble. These five companies, Mr. Speaker, are uh, Bitco, and I'll talk about Bitco later. Uh, there's a company known as Kappa, a company known as Pwani Oil, a company known as Menengai, and a company known as Golden Africa. These companies, they engage in what they call their own version of value addition. The reason that there is the outcry in the media is that, in my honest opinion, is a noise sponsored by these five companies which have stated, which have continued to enjoy monopoly, which are using the profits they have made historically to fight our efforts to bring down the cost of living, and who have got a lot of money because they, they enjoyed this monopoly status. Because if an ordinary person wants to bring in uh, the same product that these companies are doing, the, any other company is wrapped with uh, import duty of 35%, whereas these people pay zero in terms of, 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 of duty. So, Mr. Speaker, uh, the direct nexus between the answer that I've given and the question asked by the Senator Kenya is that the media is working for these cartels who are, want to lock out everybody, want to lock out the no ordinary person, the hustler, who want to keep the prices high. Na mkuingine kone kwamba wakazi wa county 